we're off. A special week this week. This podcast is going to be somewhat different, mainly because uh, Jeff Baker, my partner in podcast crime, isn't going to be here this week. Um, He apparently has got something that's vastly more important than sitting with me and uh, anybody else to do the podcast. But I'm not, you know, it doesn't bother me at all. In fact, it means there'll be a lot less editing, (laughs) removing certain words that he's very um, familiar with. Anyway, so this week it's just going to be... Well, it's not just going to be me, actually, because quite soon I'm going to introduce somebody else who's going to share the podcast with me. And uh, just a little clue here, as uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is, because uh, you won't know him anyway, but um, go for it. Well, that's a clue, and it's not Stan Getz, because, like, he's dead. Anyway, but, um, so... Uh, Guitars on the Beach News. I know Jeff will want me to give you the news. And there is, we're gradually putting like a little news story up on the website each couple of days at the moment. So if you refer to the website and or they'll also get um, posted on Facebook as well. The Guitars on the Beach Facebook page. Uh, but the one... I just put up today, so I'll say what it is now. It's just about parking on the day, because the day is only 16 days away, the 16th of June, and it's now the 1st of June. So I'm looking at a document here and trying to sort of paraphrase what it says. So the park and ride on the Charmouth Road, and and the, the article gives you like the postcodes for putting in your sat-nav and stuff. The park and ride on the Charmouth Road will be running this year. The town council has confirmed last bus, 730 p.m. Uh, but the park and ride gates will stay open until 10 p.m. Um, there are several other car parks in line without park and ride available. There's one, uh, the Cobbett Monmouth Beach, uh, Broad Street Council, uh, Lyme Regis Football Club also opens to provide some parking on the day uh, and, and it's just a little bit apart above the long stay car park on the Charmouth Road. Uh, at the other end of the town just above the steep walk to the Cobb there is another long stay Homebush car park and another in a field behind the HQ of our sponsors Lime Bay Holidays at the top of, La- of Hay Lane. And yet another halfway down Woodmead Road. So there's plenty of parking on the day. um, But I should get in early because we're expecting a lot of people. Um, But uh, so that's the park and ride and the parking news. Okay, so what's next is I'm going to introduce my... uh, podcast partner for the day who's one of the uh, house band members and uh, his name is Jake Causley. I know very little about him so we're going to find out what, what uh, who he is, what he does in the house band. Uh, the only thing that I know when I asked just before we started recording, I said, you know Eric Clapton? He said, who? So we can explore that a uh, little bit of uh, information. So, Jake. Oh, sorry. One thing I wanted to say, Jake also runs a radio station. I do indeed. Good day, Bob. How are Good. you? I'm fine, thank you, Thank Jake. you so much for having me. I'm very looking forward to coming on. Well, that's very Thanks. professional introduction. <laughs> you, so. <laughs> you sound like you're on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does come kind of second nature now that I do do my show. So, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> okay. So, how come, you, how, how come you've ended up in this room? Uh, how I've ended up in this room is I'm a massive fan of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> right. And um, when I saw some of the band members were trying to jump on the bandwagon, 
to come in and have a little bit of an interview and a chat to you. I thought, oh, I'd, I'd love to do that. <laughs> yeah, good. I, I love being on the radio. I love the idea of sort of um, sound broadcasting. So um, definitely growing on me this year. So when I found out you were doing it, I was like, oh. And so, but how did you come to be in the house band? Be in the house band. Um, I came to be in the house band. I've been in it three years, I think now. Um, how old are you now? I, I am 21 years old. Oh, are you? 21 years young. I thought you were younger than that. No, 21 years young. Although I am referred to by Jeff as the young members. of. I'm in the young mm. category. Yeah, definitely. I suppose because I haven't left university yet. I'm still in the youth. I'm not the adult world yet. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> but um, So you were 18 then when you... I was probably 18, yeah. I think I, think I only started in my final year of school in sick form. So I was probably 17, 18, something like that. Um, and I got involved because probably the most well-known Causley brother is Harvey, who's my brother. And in on that year, Harvey came in to impersonate uh, the one and only Rayvon. Oh, uh, uh, Billy Garrity. Oh, well, no, uh, Buddy Holly. Buddy Holly. <laughs> <laughs> Shame on me. Shame on me. <laughs> no, I'm um, yeah, so he came in to do a few of Buddy Holly's songs. Right. Um, they knew because Harvey plays guitar and sings um, more so than me. Oh, is he the one that's coming in the house band this year? Um, I don't is think he, he is this year. No, oh. he's only done it one year. But basically, he was doing it, and then he must have said uh, they must have said at the time, "Oh, it'd be great to get some horns or something or saxophone or something in the band." And they said, "Oh, Harvey, do you know anyone?" And he was like, "Oh, well, my brother plays okay. saxophone." And then, as if by magic, here I am. And, right. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, I love putting in the hours of rehearsing, and um, I really enjoy bringing something different. So, yeah. yeah, that's how Yeah, no, it is different. So, and when did you... Wait, what Did you go to Woodruff School? I went to Woodruff School, yeah. Okay. Um, and you've been... got a sax-playing headmaster there, haven't you? We did. It's uh, Dr. Stewart. I don't know if he's still there. I presume he is. But, um, yeah, he was a saxophone headmaster. I had a... I had a wonderful saxophone teacher as well. Shout out to Alison Davies, okay. <laughs> if she listens. And um, yeah, I've been playing saxophone all through school. Um, this very saxophone is the same saxophone I got uh, tempted towards in year three. And I'm still playing it today, <laughs> okay. which must be, goodness, gosh, 12 years or something. Right. Well, it must be and what kind of saxophone is that? Uh, this saxophone is a JP Blues 141. Yeah, but what... And it is an alto saxophone. Alto saxophone. The, si- the sizing yeah. gestures. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that one actually isn't sold anymore. So to me, it's a bit of vintage. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I've played all types of saxophones over the years of learning it. So there's there's many four and different when, sizes. Where, where do are you played in public before? I played in public a little bit. Uh, I mainly got the confidence of playing in public because my granddad runs a few sort of charity concerts in town once or twice a year and um he's always said oh jake come along and play something what's his name uh it's roy wooten oh right you might not know generally a lot of people know him he's the he's the well-known man of the town (laughs) but um yeah he works um he does some gigs for save the children so um another charitable company and um yeah i just um enjoyed playing along to some cd backing sort of thing right uh when I went to do his concerts, and that's how I played before, really. And what sort of music do you like? I really like, especially recently, I'm getting into sort of the funky groove, sort of uh, the sort of funk and the, the horn sections and sort of really bass-driven stuff. But I'm really into sort of swing as well. I, I love the old swing stuff. Right. Um, but some of the great tunes we're due to play this year in the sound band are really great too. So I'd like to think. Did I've... you know them before? I knew a few, definitely knew a few. Some of them are obvious ones, like, should I stay, should I go? Um, mm. You can find all the chord sheets online if you, if you want to join <laughs> <Yeah>. in. <laughs> well done, yeah. Unfortunately for saxophone players, you have to transpose it. So yeah. generally, to make it easier for you guys, it's harder for me. So just think of that when you watch me on stage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, should I stay, should I go is a good one. Um, I know the Chuck Berry one uh, a little bit now. Um, ooh... Mainly those two, I'd say. Okay. But, to go back yeah. to my comment that I Your made comment, earlier, um, Eric, Clapton. I said, Eric Clapton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Have you heard the name before? I recognise the name. I do. <laughs> you, Bob was so ashamed of me. <laughs> Not ashamed, I'm just... It's just weird. <laughs> I, I recognise the name. 
I feel like he's one of your idols, so I feel even yeah, more... Yeah, well, he was. He is, sorry, yeah. He it was. Uh, he was in The Yardbirds. Does that mean anything? The Yardbirds? Is, was Charlie Parker in The Yardbirds? No. Well, no. he was... He was. He's a saxophonist, and he was nicknamed Charlie the Bird Parker. Yes, So that's was, maybe yeah. where I'm getting it from. Yeah. The okay. only bit of saxophone knowledge I know. No. The Yardbirds were a band of, in the 60s. Oh, okay. With Jeff Beck in. Oh, okay. Have you heard of Jeff Beck? No, can't say. <laughs> I'm such a shame. <laughs> such a shameful youth in your Have you you've heard of the Rolling Stones? <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. Could you name them? <laughs> <laughs> you try me, Bob. No. Okay. <laughs> what about I didn't the, come Be- up with... the Beatles? <laughs> the Beatles. I could name them. They're on the okay. wall as well. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can name the Beatles for you. All right, no, that's okay. Ringo I'll Starr, yeah. uh, John Lennon, George Harrison. Was John Lennon alive when you were born? Um, who? Probably. When did not. he die? No, he can't. Did he die in the nineties? No. Then no. no. I'm only a nineties baby. Right. I've missed out the fourth one. Ringo Starr, John Lennon, George Harrison. Paul McCartney. <laughs> <laughs> Casually looking over at your book collection. <laughs> I saw it. <her. laughs> yes. Love the hint. Yeah. So I know them. Couldn't name the Rolling Stones yeah. or the Eric Clapton uh, band and the one he was in, the Yardbirds, you say? Yes, yeah. And Cream? Cream? No. No. Okay. It's all classic 60s, uh, 60s bands. Yes, yeah. No. I imagine my dad would be more knowledgeable of them because he used to a um, bit of musical heritage in my family he used to play in a little sort of a 60s tribute band uh, right. maybe he sort of stopped when I was born really so in the in the 80s right. early 90s so um, he probably knows a few of them yeah I expect he does. hasn't passed it down to me though <laughs> yeah not at all <laughs> most of the population of the world knows oh, no. the ones I've mentioned I'm just the but minority. maybe that's not true I'm what about minority. your um your peers, you know. My what, peers? Yeah, your girlfriend. You said you've got yep, a girlfriend. I do have so. a girlfriend. I have a lovely girlfriend. Shout What's out. her name? Her name is Naomi. That's a good name. It is a good name. But she's yeah. younger than me, so if I don't know them, yeah. chances are she won't know them either. Naomi. Naomi Davis Griffiths. Davis Griffiths? Out. Yes. Yeah. Of the... well, she doesn't want to be a Causley, <laughs> does she, with a name like that? <laughs> <laughs> Certainly don't want a triple barreled name, do we? <laughs> But will she have heard of Eric Clapton? Oh, I don't know. She um, she does come from a very musical family, so chances are she has a good musical knowledge. Uh, I'm into lots of genres, but I really struggle. Uh, I found over the years I really struggle with names of um, artists. I can recognise a tune, but I couldn't put maybe an yeah. artist or no, a I'm title No, I struggle it. with that too, just yeah. remembering things in But general. she's good. She'll remember random stuff, so... Um, uh. And so does she play things? Or? She she used to play clarinet, um, but she doesn't actually do much music anymore. I'm really trying to encourage her. I think music is a really good thing to carry on with. It's, mm. it's like stress relieving, it's, it's creative, you can be creative. And it's certainly the most fun when you get together with others and have a good right. play in a band. And playing in the house band, do you enjoy that? Definitely, yes. What, what, what do you get from it? Um, I think we're all lovely people. They're and, lovely um, people. Lovely people. Wait, and, um, Jeff. <laughs> and Jeff. Lots of no, he is. Back. he is. People, <laughs> Jeff. No, honestly, he's one of the nicest people I've ever met. Nothing yeah. negative I could say about the band at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get out of it. Um, I think confidence more than anything, to be honest. Confidence in playing. Uh, because I'm a very... I've been brought up very sort of music in front of me orientated musician what, reading the dots yeah reading reading the dots and the lines um so a real challenge that i know is to me is to think by ear and um and sort of play along uh by memory and by just the chord structures stuff like that and really that's what i have to bring to the band because there's nothing written for me mm. and often it's just um me listening to the tracks thinking oh what could i sort of put in there that might be good which hopefully i do okay um i think sometimes you struggle to hear me <laughs> <but> <laughs> I don't usually we bring all my mic to hear Yeah, ourselves. until the day. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. Um, but uh, yeah, I I think um, mainly I get confidence in my playing, uh, which is really good. Yeah. 
but I, I love I love the feeling of being in a band. I'm in a lot of ensembles. They're all so. very nice to you, aren't they? Everybody they are in nice the to band. Me. They yeah. are, yeah. <laughs> they're they're all characters, but they're all nice to me. Yeah. Um, certainly, you for having me on your on your podcast. And yeah, of course. Yeah. Thing. Um, so now I mentioned that you run a radio station. I do, indeed. but before we go there. Mm. Tell me what you're doing, because you're, it's at yeah. uni, yeah? Yes, that's right. So um, I'm at Swansea University uh, by day. I'm in my final year now. So from being in Guitars of the Beach, I've gone from start of uni, little timid person, to oh. end of uni, wow, it's all over, sort of thing. So I'm in my final year of zoology. Uh, so oh, I'm studying zoology. zoology. Right. Mm. So I, I really like to go into a career in sort of wildlife conservation. Um, protecting the natural world is sort of my true desire, really, but... I have lots of other interests along the way, like music and um, and radio now as well. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've been there for three years and um, I'm not studying further. So I'm going to be coming back to the area to hopefully seek employment um, in the sector, sort of in the southwest. Really, right. Until further. With a degree in zoology. Yeah, zoology. with a degree in zoology. So, yeah. so, so what's different? <coughs> zoology... It's about animals. That's right, yeah. It's, it's basically a study but of animal were, life. Yeah, yeah, but you were talking about the, oh, the natural world. Yeah. yeah, natural world. So you spend all your time evenings watching Country Files and things <laughs> like that, too. I'm, I'm such a bad person because everyone says to me, hey, did you see Country Files last <laughs> week? It was really good. And I know it talks about great stuff. I just never find the time to watch it. And I really do need to. But um, give me a BBC or ITV um, three-part series on the natural world and I'll be definitely watching it. So. Mm. Um, but yeah, we've covered all sorts in my degree from basic animal biology and I don't like tiny things, but we've done sort of cellular stuff and how organisms work. Right. The things that really interest me really over the last year, we've done some great uh, modules on climate change, especially, which has really interested me and real driver of that. Um, and also sort of conservation of animals and stuff like that. So mm. um, I'd like to think I've got quite a broad range of stuff I can... Good. Think about. Uh, have you got any idea how, where you're going to try and get a job? No. So, um, yeah, it's it's tricky. I feel like the one thing university has lacked for me is sort of a sense of direction. When you leave, you can do this. Or, you know, if you graduate with zoology and you want to go and conserve natural places, you can do this. Um, I think... I think my best bet is sort of, I'd really like to try working on a nature reserve, just doing the groundskeeping, just, I, I really desire to just be out there knowing I'm doing something good, you know what I mean? Right. I, I'd like to be outside, and um, uh, I can think of nothing better, so if I'm out there monitoring some species, seeing how they're doing in Britain somewhere, or um, and then eventually maybe going seeing some beautiful places around the world, hmm. we'll see, but um, yeah, I think um, I think once I find something that I'm... I'm not set on something yet, so... Once it comes along, I think I'll know. Right. But I'm just sort of um, waiting for the signs, really. Good. Yeah. I just didn't really fancy staying on and learning more, really. I just wanted to get out there and try and do something. What's your chances of your degree? The chances of... Getting a good degree. Getting a good degree? Well, I've got... Um, I've got. I've always got two ones and firsts over my three years, so um, it's... I think it's going to be very on the margin, to be honest. It's it's um, this year I've got some first, some two ones, but it's the exam. I have seven exams all at the end this year, which I'm in the middle of, uh, which will be the defining factor. And unfortunately, that just stems back to whether that's the best way to do it yeah. and stuff. So, so have you, you've enjoyed uni, definitely, because yeah. I never did it, so I don't know what, what yeah, it's yeah. like. It's like really. it was definitely it was a hard experience at first because I was the first in my family to go. Uh, all my family are just from sort of the southwest, never really done university or anything. Um, so, yeah, I was the first to go, and it's quite nerve wracking. I'm quite a, I was, I got quite homesick at the start, and uh, I just met my girlfriend at the time, so I was a bit like, oh, that's a bit, blah blah. But here we are, still standing, and um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's actually got a lot better. The the first little bit is the hardest, especially if you're a very family driven person and you go away for yeah. live by yourself <clears> the first time. Um, but I'm quite. I think I'm quite quite a good people person. It's just sort of the independence I lacked at the time. So, right. and now I'm coming back thinking, oh, do I actually want to come back and you know live at home and <laughs> stuff like that? <laughs> but I've met some lovely people and um, definitely 
It's a really good thing to do. And the, how did you get... What's, tell us about the radio. Of station. course. Um, it's my new love of my life. <laughs> the new love of my life. Don't tell my girlfriend. And, um, yeah, I basically... Swansea University has its own student radio station, which has been running for the same amount of time as Radio 1. BBC right. Radio 1. Which is just coming up to 50 years old. Mm. And it's the old, therefore it's the oldest student radio station in the UK, let alone probably the world. I don't know. And it's called Extreme. I'm supporting it now with an with X. Your go check out our we- yeah. Go check out our website. And um, yeah, I basically uh, at the start of every university year you have a freshers fair. I don't know if you know, and yeah. you just go along, and it's all the societies saying, "Hey, come and give it a go." So I was straight to musicians in first year, finding stuff like that. Um, in second year, I went along to have a look, uh, and I saw, I saw a I saw a sign somewhere about a radio, and I'm really into radio. I listen. I'm a real Radio Two geek. <laughs> I love right. Radio Two, um, but my most recent job, they listen to Radio Six as well. I really like that. Um, yeah, I just think it's a really cool thing to get involved with. So I saw it, and I was like, "Oh, I need. I'd really like to do that." Um, so yeah, this was uh, about a year and a half ago now, and. I never followed it up because I didn't hear anything more about it. It sort of just floated away. Um, And that only became clear why when it came to third year back in September of 2017, uh, where I actually went to their stool. And I was like, wow, I I heard about you guys last year. I really wanted to join, but I think I just didn't hear about you. So I didn't do it. So this time I went to them and they said, oh yeah, come along to this, come along to that. And then I finally got opened into this world of radio and realized that actually you know isn't actually broadcast as well across the uni because it's an internet radio station right uh but it's not really played out on our campuses very much it's only played out in a couple of places um and that's mainly because it's up to now been quite a sort of leisurely thing where you know you could have people saying naughty things and just students saying whatever. saying what things saying naughty words and all <laughs> sort of things <laughs> But um, definitely over the last two years, it's got more professional with a structure. Um, so it's and been... lots of naughty words. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, you just worry about... Because the campus is used by all sorts of people, like older people and also really young children come in with their parents right. to go to... There's like a nursery on campus, I think. So yeah, I got involved at the start of this year and I was really keen to do a show. So I was like, oh, what, what can I do it on? Um, and I was, I was really, I think I was really excited just at the idea of producing. So the leveling and, um, just like, you know, saying, oh yeah, the mic's on now. <laughs> Slide up me <laughs> playing the effects as well. I was all into that, but also I was like, oh, I, I actually think I have quite a good, uh, different music taste. I'm into a lot of sort of alternative, easy rock, acoustic stuff. Um, but also verging into things like funk and, um, also like swing and, Stuff yeah. like that. So I was thinking, oh, I could actually probably bring a show to this, I reckon. So, and then obviously my love of wildlife. So I thought, oh, I'll just do an alternative music show uh, with sort of wildlife bulletins and news and stuff. <laughs> so my show is now called Alt J. It's in called what? Alt J. Right. Uh, as in the band, but that's just a gimmick because <laughs> I am called Jake and J. Uh, and alternative music, Alt. Right. <laughs> So um, I play one of the Alt-J tracks at the beginning of every show, the Left Hand Free song. <laughs> right. And um, I basically play a load of alternative music, also country and stuff. I'm really into country music and um, sort of Americana music. Uh, and then I sort of talk about free news stories and I have a two-hour slot every week. And um, yeah, it's been really, really good fun and seriously something I'm considering going into now. So can you just give an example of how you start your show. <laughs> yes. It's, it's every week, is it? Uh, it's every week, yeah. I do, yeah. A, I do a Thursday show, four right. till six. Right. Extreme radio. <laughs> Come listen to me. <laughs> yeah, of course I could. Because um, <laughs> when I came in, you said, you said, oh, that entrance is great, Jake. <laughs> True <laughs> radio presenter. Oh, I'd probably, so what I do at the start is we have a little jingle for our radio station. So it'll be something like... <laughs> You chose the extreme radio station, <laughs> Swansea Student Radio, blah, blah. And then cuts in with a bit of Alt J, the artist, oh. going, Hey, city baby, hey, come on. I've never heard of him. 
Well, here's my, here's my chance. Um, <laughs> left hand free, the song. All right. Well, your left hand's free. Okay. And your right sing grip. Ain't shady, baby, I'm hot. Like the prodigal son. Big a bite of lini, mini, money, more and flower. You're the chosen one. piece band I think yeah but that's a good song that's played a fair few times in modern age but um, I start with that so right. that plays and then there's a nice bit in that song where it cuts down to sort of just vocals and then just a little guitar in the background then you just slide myself up and go like good afternoon Swansea how are you doing <laughs> slide back down and then <laughs> and then carry on the song good. and then I usually play about uh, two other songs and I come straight come in after that after a jingle like, you choose the tracks, Extreme Radio. And I come back in and say, Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Old J Show. This is Jake Cosley here. Do you have any pre recorded, uh, you know, little, um, little um, voiceover y bits? Or... Yeah, a little bit. We only have the jingles, but also we have some sound effects. So sometimes when I enter, we have a clapping effect. All right. Okay. And I play that <laughs> when I come in. So my daughter does voiceovers. Oh, cool. So... Oh, like sort of the. In between, like, this is Radio 2, whatever. Yeah, she did some for Total Star when she was Total at Total Star? It's in Cheltenham, I think. But oh, right. Anyway, yeah. But that's basically how I'd introduce it. So, when's your next radio show? Mm, next radio show will be... It hasn't been this week, uh, because I've been back home. Uh, but I usually do it on Thursdays from 4 until 6pm. Right. And you can find the radio show by going to swanseastudentmedia.com, I think, uh, or searching Xtreme with an X, no E, uh, for Facebook or Twitter and you'll find us. And then you go to the website and you click play and you can stream along. So the next one will be, I think I'm actually going to do it next week because my girlfriend's coming up to Swansea to visit me okay. uh, for the first time in ages. Um, but I said, oh, do you want to come on and do my radio show with me? <laughs> Really? Not stopping it. <laughs> it should be a special show. Mm-hmm. It should be a promo a show. A promo for Guitars, Guitars on the Beach. On the beach. It probably yeah. should. <laughs> Reel it on back. <laughs> it should. It's just, just so you should put some little clips, because I've maybe. got some clips of you playing the sax. Oh, do you? Last, last year. Then maybe yeah. we'll have to transfer that onto yeah. a little moment. So what's, how can you, you can tell from the streaming how many people are listening to you? Well, yeah. you can... I don't know how to do it, and uh, I got a funny story about that um, because I did actually ask the same thing to our head of radio at one point. The uh, head of radio. Yeah, we have um, you elect people as head of radio right. or deputy head. Head of they have loads of roles. Head of uh, sort of um, production, daytime shows. It's really prof- It's looking professional. It's going somewhere. Right. I'd like to think I'm bringing the professionalism, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, sorry, what's the question? I've forgotten. What was the question? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was um it was about promo, wasn't it? I can't remember. About doing uh, the, the show online. Oh I know what the question oh, what was. was. It? <laughs> How many listeners have you got yes, that's basically? Right. It's it's because I'm not mentioning it because it's so low that <laughs> 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 Um There is a way of finding out. I don't know how to, and I went along to after my show I stopped it. Uh, I record my shows as well, so I can mm. send it to people if they want to listen. And I went up to him, uh, the head of radio, he's called Alex, and I said, um, oh, is there any chance, you know, we can find out how many people are listening? He was like, there is, but it's soul-crushing. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> he was like, do you want to know? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I was like, it can't really be a bad thing. <laughs> so he basically, he said, I'll tell you next time. So after I did it next time and he was around, I came out. And he was like, oh, Jake, great show today. And I was like, oh, thank you. And he was like, you had... <laughs> you had um, you had 14 listeners. <laughs> well, that's not bad. And I, I was suppose. like, to be honest, that is more than I could count on my hand as people who might be listening. So I'll take that. <laughs> Sometimes you see... And I think you can see where as well with all this location stuff. 
And I think there was a random person listening in, like, Korea or something. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder how on earth it's happening. So, yeah, yeah about 14. Yeah. But apparently that's really good for a show. Pro- a if you've company. listened to other podcasts, you'll realise that four of them at least are probably Russian <laughs> spies. <laughs> well, you had an incident with it crashing and you were worried. Yes, about... yes. So... Okay, so is well, maybe way... you'll get a load next Thursday because oh, yeah, everybody's going to exactly be... Lime listeners will hopefully come and come yeah. And listen. So what time is it again? And four until six p.m. on Thursday it'll be the sixth. Thursday okay. the sixth, I think. Right. Sixth June next Thursday, four till six p.m. You can find me this voice on the Update Show on Swansea University's Extreme Radio. We're next. And um, I would happily hear from you. And then you can contact me by email and Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of thing. And give me a shout out. I'll be expecting you, Bob. Oh, you'll, you get... I'll be a, a streamer, don't worry. Oh, definitely. Can so, you find out how many listens we have to our podcast? How many people have listened to it? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes. Is that going well? Uh, I guess it's averaging per podcast mm-hmm. uh, That's good. between 90 and 100. With some, the very first one was like 180 or something All like right. that. So. Well, this is going to bring a lot of streaming to my show, I think. <laughs> well, I <laughs> hope so, great. yeah. I, I hope you like a bit of Baker Street. <laughs> interesting enough. Oh, yeah, you go and go, do it. Just <laughs> do, do a else. couple of, couple a couple of little I got, I got tasters. Two more, two more little uh, Jake special tasters. Uh, let's see. Here's where I fluff it. <laughs> <laughs> Try, don't get too close. Don't yeah, I'm going to have some. Gonna blow the listener's ear off, aren't we? That is a bit of uh, American Patrol for you listeners. <laughs> nice and special. No, they're supposed to guess. Oh. Well, hopefully they it paused it. Matter. Hopefully they paused yeah. it, and then, yeah. and then they. I won't the, tell them this. The one. likelihood of them getting this far is pretty remote. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> they're probably listening, and then we'll let them guess this one. Don't know that's oh, that's the one that's played to <laughs> Poirot, isn't it? Poirot? What's that? Poirot. Poirot. Agatha Christie's Poirot, and there's a oh. a series on uh, oh. ITV. Oh, okay. And I think I that's know. the music oh. that they use. It's a well-known track, so I wouldn't it be is, surprised. Yeah. I want to do myself justice and try and remember the other bit, but it's just going to end up being... There you are. That's Mm. the second bit. We'll leave it at that because otherwise I'll just make a fool of myself and everyone will be like, this saxophonist is not very good. We won't come and watch him. (laughs) So, in your best radio presenter voice now, if you could kind of like sign off. Yes. uh, I can. But with some words about. Uh, uh, just a short description of Guitars on the Beach yeah. and the date. Just Am I so signing the off date. the whole podcast? Yeah. Oh, this is really exciting. <laughs> All right, then. Um, ooh. So, remind me of the date. 16th of June. 16th of June. So, yeah. From? Ooh, from like 12 midday or something? 10. It's from 10. Yeah. We got acts from 10. I'm not till... from 10, but I'll be there. 10 till 10. 10. Till... Yeah, yeah, 10 till 10. The and in the day. afternoon, when the house band played... Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm doing all this. The songs <laughs> from the sand band That's set right. where the people who brought exactly. guitars on the sand mm-hmm. will be joining us. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. And they can come and see you. They can come and um, see you. Have you got any good photos of you? Uh, playing saxophone. Possibly, A few. Because I can add a photo on yes. there. So I that they can recognise you this and all the groupies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get embarrassed, Jake. You must have them anyway. Hopefully. It's like a family of four. (laughs) (laughs) Woo! Yes. You must have groupies too, though. We all must bring a few groupies. Just got the one, actually. (laughs) um... So a sign-off worthy of incorporating all of that. Oh, okay then. All right, so... Let me have a go at that now. Just... I will. Okay Uh, then. What are you doing? I'm going to sign it off. Go on, if, you, if you want me to. <laughs> You've been listening to the Guitars on the Beach uh, podcast uh, with Bob Brooker and Jake Corsi, also of the Alt-J Show on Swans University's Extreme Radio. But more importantly, this has been a Guitars on the Beach podcast. Do come along on the 16th of June from 10 till 10 
And if you are involved in the, if you want to be involved in the sand band, play along with our brilliant music, where Bob and I will be playing in our brilliant sand band. I mean, house band. You're the sand band. Uh, come along in the afternoon, maybe about three. Oh, yeah, well, I don't know. I, I look at the website. Well, look, look at the website, yes. and uh, don't forget the parking information yeah. that Bob kindly gave us earlier. Yeah. Um, but this has been uh, a wonderful podcast. Thank you for having me, and um, okay. I hope to see you all in summer. It is the actual thirteenth podcast. It is the thirteenth. Well, hopefully, it will be a good one. Oh, and it's Friday. Oh no! <laughs> Friday, the thirteenth podcast. Thank <laughs> you.